Hey bag ladies and bag dudes, I'm Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness and this is the first Friday sew in my once a month uh, live sew along. I'll be joined with some of my sewing friends and my daughter Violet's gonna be hanging out for a little while also. So um, let's get started. All right, so I we've been chatting before we got started and I just wanted to briefly go down the list of everyone that's in the chat room and I'm just gonna ask, um, your name and if you could tell everyone where you're from. So we'll start with Michelle because I know she was one of the first ones in the room. Sorry. So I'm Michelle. I'm from Ottawa in Canada. Um, everybody pretty much knows me as the one that's sort of always there. I'm, as my kids say, always watching. Um, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle and Ethan, right? <laughs> yeah. She oh. sees and hears everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do how do you say what it, what that I'm always watching? What do you say? Yeah, I was watching. No, no, no. Your voice. I have a lot of voices. The one that you do it in. I don't know. I don't what know. I do it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you Ethan, you do the Monster Zank. No. And this is Ethan. And who? What are you? How old are you? You're a person, but how old are you? I'll say I'm 12. No, you're 11. Oh. And you so too. You made this last, right? Hold it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good job, Ethan. Good job. Thanks. All right. How about you, Christina? Um, where you're from and also if you're working on something tonight during the show? I am in South Florida. Crazy hot and humid and never-ending summer. Um, I am... I'm kind of jumping around. I've got... These are all motos that are cut out and interface that I didn't get done before my last craft show. Oh my gosh, so, that's so many. I've got a whole bag of them. I think there's 10 of them in here. So I might work on these. Or I'm going to continue cutting out bags for the retreat because I need to work on that prep. Because that's rapidly approaching. I know. The, I can't believe it's September already. The summer it, went by so fast. It's September 7th and... College college football is in gear. NFL is now in gear. I've got hockey preseason that starts really soon, so my free time is going to be going out the window. So, yeah, done what I can. <laughs> All right. How about you, Mary? Would you like to go next? Where are you from? And if you're working on anything tonight? I'm from Boston, and um, I'm working on a bag, but it's not one of yours, even though I have a lot of your patterns. That's okay. It's a little... It's a little swing bag for, I'm going on a trip to Mexico next week and just a small bag just to carry some stuff at the beach. Awesome. Do you have it cut out already mm -hmm. or did you want to show yep. us what you have um, so far? I have it, um, this is the the outside. It's um, some cave fabric. Oh, cool. But, right, I'm to get in the camera. I know yeah, it's confusing because it's the opposite sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So I this is a panel. Yeah. I'm going to quilt it a little bit before um, I form it into the bag. Awesome. Are you going to do straight line quilting or a different design? Just straight line quilting. Nice. Something simple. I have my juki and I'm just going to do some walking foot quilting on it. Nice. All right. So I saw Clovis came in earlier. Are you still around, Clovis? If so, um, where are yes. you from and what are you working on tonight, if you're working on anything? Yes, I'm here, Clovis Perkins. I'm from East Chicago, Indiana. And I'm trying to work on some coasters for Christmas here, crocheting them. Nice, getting some Christmas uh, projects done early. Awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. How about you, Kyla? Where are you from and what are you working on tonight? All right. I'm Kyla. I'm from Southwest Michigan, and I'm actually working on the Tudor bag. Um, I bought some softball table because I've never used sewing interfacing, so I'm going to try that um, because on my other bags, I've used the iron and interfacing, and it does wrinkle, so I'm just kind of putting it together for the sew along. Oh, this is my daughter, Claire. Hey, Claire. Hey. <laughs> she does not sew. She just likes to watch me. <laughs> Maybe one day. There's plenty of time. Yep, there is plenty yeah. of time. <laughs> so have you started attaching your fabric to the soft and stable? What do you think about it so far? If you um, No, nope. I actually just cut it out, so I'm going to do that tonight. I'm working okay. on the straps right now. So. Okay, awesome. Yeah. 
All right. Well, maybe I'll check in a little later. I'm curious to hear what you think about the soft and stable as opposed to the, okay. the fusible. Okay. All right. Uh, hey, Jessica, uh, where are you from and what are you working on tonight? Uh, some people might have hey, stepped I'm out. I'm Jessica. Oh. I am um, in Texas where it's been raining nonstop like all week. And um, so we've been flooded. Tuesday, we actually missed school and work because our street was flooded. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, oh, no. Yeah, it's been nonstop. And then uh, the girls have a football game tonight, but I also have my in-laws coming. So I'm trying to catch up as much as I can before I have to go. But I am working on um, a vintage by Camille Ross Kelly uh, quilt. So. Oh, nice. I love her patterns. So I have um, eight more blocks to sew up. So that's what I'm working on tonight. Nice. Okay, say hi. Hey, guys. Say hi. That's Aaliyah. To... Hey, Aaliyah. <laughs> and then Zachariah, who's fixing to go to bed. Bless you. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Let me mute it. <laughs> Hey, Sandy, uh, what are you working on tonight? Uh, let's jump Sorry, back. Sorry, I think my oh. mic was off. No, it's okay. No I'm problem. I'm here. I'm Sandy. I'm doing um, a grab and go sleeve. And for a friend's son, I'm doing like the old mother goose fabric. Where did you so, find that fabric? I love that. Probably Christina. Thank you. It's cute. It has like nursery rhymes and stuff on it. So That's awesome. But I Yay. love it. Thank you. Where are you from? I am from Louisiana, but we currently live in Maryland. We're active duty military, so we move all the time. But we're near D.C. right now. So. All right. Thanks for joining us. And I saw Sarah. Thank you. I saw Sarah is also. Sarah is in the Chicago area just like I am. Hey, Sarah. What are you working on? I, I'm cutting out a moto pouch. And then I'm going to try to cut out a blue calla and try that before the um, the retreat. I want to try her instructions. Oh, okay. So that I'm, sounds good. Yeah. So that I'm cutting tonight. Sounds good. Yeah. So Christina and Sarah are both coming to the retreat this month. So I'm very excited about that. Oh, I we are too. <laughs> How about you, Kim? Where are you from and what are you working on tonight? Um, I'm from Chicago, and I'm working on finishing five more blocks from an improv class that I took at um, a show last week. And, of course, I'm ripping right now. Yeah, I was doing a lot of that earlier myself. <laughs> <laughs> Always happens. Yep, it does. Uh, hey, Mirta. Mirta, where are you from, and what are you working on tonight? Or is is Stephanie? Stephanie, are you around? What are you working on? And I think there was one more person that jumped on, S Sandy. In case you're around, um, if you'd like to introduce oh, yourself. Oh, here I am. Oh, hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I just had the microphone had been muted. Hi, Sarah. I'm in the Chicago area too, and I've got a few things going on. So, um, these are my two. Uh, bags that we're going to do at your retreat. Awesome. So I started cutting, and this is the blue calla. So I got all the fabrics of the blue calla cut out, and um, her video was helpful to to watch how you cut some of the pieces because some of her techniques are a little bit different than yours. I already noticed, so um, it was nice to see her video. Yeah, I love that Melody um, Miller fabric that you chose. Yeah, and then I got the your navy blue cork. Um, well, I rolled up the pieces, but the navy blue cork is going to be the cork part of this bag. Oh, so perfect. that's the exterior. That's a perfect match. Yeah, yeah, awesome. And then this is going to be the lining fabric. So nice. those are cut. And then for the what, what's the other bag? The satellite? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. 
So um, I got. I have to start. I still have to cut this, so yeah. I haven't started cutting oh, nice. this. Nice. But like some tu- just your yeah, it's awesome. classic Tula. <laughs> awesome! You're so organized. I like those little containers you have them in too. <laughs> my, my little job jackets. Yeah, <laughs> they're very. I like because they're clear and they're large enough to to um, store a lot of fabrics and stuff. So, um, and then I these. This is what I put my um, wonder clips in, but it's glass, so. I want to make this little kismet trinket to take with me to the retreat nice. so I could put my clips in there. Yeah, so it's a like a soft. Idea. Yeah. I like it. And I, I don't like tote it. that around. <laughs> so yeah, I've got my kismet two sizes in here. So I'm going to try to make those tonight. I need to get um, organized got... like you are because... Uh... Look at this cute little squirrel fabric. That's going to be one of the kismets. Isn't that cute? Yeah, there Oh, can you see it? I see it. Yeah, I think that's Sarah Watts um, for Cotton and Steel, right? It is. Yeah, Cotton and Steel. Awesome. And then I, I've got the lining. The Allison Glass has the lining for it. See. Oh, hey Stephanie, uh, we had a we had a question over peak. on YouTube from Angel. Angel wanted to know what are those clear bags um, you have your projects in? Oh, these are called job jackets. Job jackets. And they're from Uline. Uline. Okay. Hopefully yeah, everybody on expensive. Facebook and YouTube heard. They're expensive, uh, you said? Yeah, like for like a box of 25, they were like, um, I don't know, like $70. So that was oh, kind okay. of, I, I was given these by the lady I freelance for because she didn't like them. They were too big. And I said, I know exactly what I can do with them. <laughs> <So>. Repurchasing. <laughs> awesome. I know, yeah. I'm like, don't throw those away. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah. That's where, but that's where they're from. They're from Uline. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right. Um, I, I saw Mirta. I see you over there, Mirta. Hi. Where are you from and what can are you, you working on? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay good. Because I had the microphone turned off for some unknown reason. But, um, but yes, I'm, uh, I'm from San Diego. Good old, beautiful San Diego, close to Disneyland, Mexico, and beaches and mountains. Um, so I'm from San Diego, just got back from working, and uh, I am sewing a Halloween bag for a one-year-old, and um, I'm going to be doing that. Can you see me now? Yep, we can see you. Okay, so this is going to be one of the fabrics. Oh, that's very cute. And I'm going to embroider her name on it. She's a one-year-old, but the grandmother is a good friend of mine, and she loves Day of the Dead. Cool. So... Um, I told her, I said, don't, she's a one-year-old, so don't get too carried away. And so, <laughs> so, so this is the one we picked for her. And this will be the inside, the little candy cane. And then I'm working on the California um, group is going to be doing a swap. So I am going to be doing this. You see how cute that is? Oh, that's adorable. Where did you find that fabric? Um, you know, I don't remember, but it's, um, when I saw the little rounded woman, I said, oh gosh, I gotta get this. So I'm going to make her and she loves Hawaii and she loves things like that. So I'm going to be getting her this and I'm going to be um, making her something out of this, a bag of some sort, but, um, it's so cute that I had to do something with this with her. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm going to finish this little Halloween bag and get start getting ready for this. That sounds awesome. And then awesome. I have to start picking out the Tudor bag. The Tudor bag, I have no idea what I'm going to do. So I have to pick that out before we start. And so I've, that's I've, what I'm doing too. I've actually met you in person, Mirta. And um, yes. I, from what I've seen online and from what, what we've spoken about in the past, you make a ton of custom orders for people. Bags. Uh, key fobs. Yeah. Mirta makes, I, I can't believe how many orders she takes and all the things she makes for other people that she it's, sells. It, it's so funny. You know that bag that I made for my daughter for nursing? Um, somebody said, Mirta, are you going to put that on, on, on your page? I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm too busy. Oh, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm starting to go back to work, you know, and this is the busiest time for teachers. So no, but I just made a friend of mine, these little, you know, these little bags, she ordered three of them. So I made these for her, but I get tons of, I just have great friends. I think that's what it is. I have great friends and I put something up and I get tons of orders. So I said, no, I can't do that right now. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So I just I just don't have the time right now to put into it. I wish I did. I wish I could retire and just sew, but I can't. I gotta keep working. So says my husband. <laughs> so I gotta do that. So I'm paying for all the equipment that I buy. <laughs> so, I hear you. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta keep the hubby happy. All right. Um, I think there's two more people. I think there's two more people left that we need to get intros from. If if Sandy's in the room still, or if Robin is, either one. Uh, we just want to have you introduce yourself and um, where you're from and what you're working on. Oh, Sandy, I got you ready. I'm so sorry. So let people know they're That's okay. <laughs> I was like, hmm, is that me? Okay. Sorry, I'm Hi, so sorry. Again. <laughs> Sandy also helped me earlier. That too uh, was gracious enough to help. Oh, that's me right. Yeah, you were telling work. me. Yeah, you were telling me about that <laughs> earlier. Thanks, Sandy. Uh, yes, my girls were going nuts. They were all excited to see Danny. They're like, "Where is he?" Because you couldn't see him on the screen, and he kept poking his head out and waving. <laughs> And Danny wanted me to let all of you out there know that are watching on Facebook and YouTube that we do have a few spaces left in the room. We can have up to 25 people. So if you feel like joining in, um, Danny has posted the link in the Facebook group and you just need to click that link and um, you can join us in the room if you'd like to. And you can join us anytime. We'll be on till 8.30 Central Time. So another hour and 15 minutes. I'll post it in the Facebook live as well as YouTube. If they want to okay, Danny them. says he'll also post the links in I did the Facebook right YouTube on Facebook program. live and on YouTube live to make it easier. I oh. forgot to say what I was working on. Ethan sidetracked me. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm actually working on two cotton candy pouches. I have two moto pouches cut out and a Bellevue. And of those... All of them but one will go to Ronald McDonald House for Christmas gifts for the children and their families. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Yeah, I figured the Wonder Woman and My Little Pony and Ninja Turtles, the fabric I got from Christina, actually, will be very popular. Hopefully it doesn't cause any fights. (laughs) Oh, Michelle, also, I wanted to ask, um, not to put you on the spot, but um, the Tudor Bag Sew Along starts this Monday. Did you want to just give everyone a brief little overview of what uh, what that's all about? Um, Okay, hang on. Let me open up my information that I have on my computer about it. Okay. Um, So it starts this Monday. Um, Um, This week will be to gather all your supplies, your fabrics, even though I know everybody already did it because we posted that we were doing the tutor, Um, but we were really excited, Bronwyn and I, so we thought we'd let everybody know what the winning bag was. Um, You will also, for this week, cut and fuse all your fabric pieces. Please post any pictures you take um, in the weekly album because there will be prizes, and in order to be able to be entered into getting a prize, you need to put your photos into the appropriate week's album. Um, it's just going to be a lot of fun. If anybody needs any help or requires any you know, extra assistance or is stuck on anything, please don't at any time hesitate to message Bronwyn or I on the page. You can put it in the comments of the album. That way there, anybody else who may get stuck on the same spot or have the same issue, they'll be able to go through the comments and see, oh, okay, this person, this is what the response was and how to do that. Um, I just really want to keep it, both of us, we want to keep it fun. It's not stressful. We know it's, you look at it and you say, oh my gosh, five weeks to make a bag. We realize that it doesn't take five weeks to make a bag, but we took into consideration that people work, they've got vacations, and then there's just life commitments that happen. So we wanted to break it down where people can still have a life and so, and not feel that we had to rush and do this all within one week. Um, more than welcome to work ahead if you want. Obviously, there's some people who just don't have a choice because they have things going on. They need to work ahead, and that's totally fine. Um, again, the same thing we had said in our post is that just keep the photos for your weekly progress until the week that we post the album so that other people don't feel like they've fallen behind or they can't keep up. There's a lot of newbies joining this so along, which we're very excited about. Um, so we want to keep them feeling like you know they can do this and they can keep up as well. I know there's a lot of experienced people, myself, I can probably do the bag in one day, but, you know, again, five weeks seem pretty reasonable for people. Um, And again, you have other little projects that everybody has to work on or can work on in between as well to keep you busy to fill in the time between those weeks. Um, I think that's about it. 
I hope everybody can put up with Bronwyn and I for five weeks. <laughs> Bron Bronwyn's sending through a comment right now. Bronwyn says, tell them how to use the albums, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go to Facebook, when you're on the So Sweetness Sewing Patterns page, up either on your phone, it will be up in the top. So right under where Sarah's cover photo is, you'll see a section and you can scroll through. It'll say like files, discussions, and there's a, a place for albums. When you're on your computer, it'll be on the left-hand side in a menu on the left-hand side. You just click albums and every week we'll call it, it'll start with Tudor So Along. And then it'll say week one or week two. So just look for the appropriate week for what you have done or completed for that week. Um, and that that anything else, Bronwyn, while I'm still talking, that you can message through <laughs> <laughs> that I'm forgetting. Uh, Charlie says. Uh, so the, the, Charlie has a question. He says the first week is cutting, or or should we cut before Monday? You can definitely cut before Monday. There's no, like we said, there's no restriction on how, how far you can work ahead. Um, just take your progress photos as you go so you have them. Um, because everybody, you're going to want to be entered into getting a prize. Everybody wants prizes. It's super fun. Um, you may want to hold off because Bronwyn and I have some special little surprises along the way. Um, so I know Bronwyn said for cutting, she's going to post um, if anybody's doing any fussy cutting. She came up with this really awesome idea that she showed me. Yay, Bronwyn. Um, that'll help anybody that's got some fussy cutting on top of what Sarah's already shown. So if you want to wait, if you're doing any fussy cutting to see what um, Bronwyn has to say as well, the two um, might help make it easier for you to do the fussy cutting, but um, you're more than welcome to work ahead there. Really, you don't have to stick for a timeline. It's just a guideline. It's just, again, we want everybody to have fun and it to be stress-free. Like we said, we know everybody's got a life. Not everybody's like me that just sits around and all day their life consists of sewing. So, you know, work at, work at your own pace. It's it's supposed to be fun, you know? If, if five weeks seems too long for you, just take photos as you go for the weeks and post them as we, you know, go along. There's, there's nothing wrong um. with working at your own pace i'm not like i said we're, there's no so sweetness police we're not going to come and arrest you and knock on your door and tell you you've worked too far ahead you know, <laughs> do, do what you want you know i, I really want to have fun i'm really excited to do this i'm really shocked at how many people are joining us i think it's really awesome wait, wait, wait. um Bronwyn pardon says, hold uh, hold your horses <laughs> bronwyn says don't. no don't cut before monday and she's coming on She's gonna reprimand. Bronwyn's gonna join us. Yeah, I was wondering why she was commenting but not um, joining on the might be early morning on the live chat. Pajamas, maybe. Oh, maybe but that's she's... what I'm saying. If you're not doing like I've already cut my stuff out just because I figure I should try to be sort of somewhat on task. I mean, how does that look if I'm not even on task? Um, so I've got my stuff cut, but I wasn't doing any fussy cutting. I wasn't doing anything like that. But again, every week Bronwyn and I will be posting that album for you to go. Um, and post those progress photos in. So if you're not doing any fussy cutting or you're not doing anything, you know, that requires any extras, then go ahead and work ahead. If you're following the pattern as per Sarah's instructions, go ahead and just work away. Like I said, I know there's, you know, five weeks seems long, but we wanted to take into account everybody's life and everybody's schedules. Um, you know, it's just supposed to be something fun. It's supposed to be something to, to do in between other projects. So... Yeah. Yeah. Totally awesome what you are doing. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bronwyn and I are like so excited. All we do like every night we're just like talking about it all the time. Like I'm we're, sure. We're, we're calling ourselves Team Awesome. <laughs> you are awesome. <laughs> and, 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 and Bronwyn keeps saying we'll take bribes and then she says she's joking, but I'm not really sure if we're truly really joking. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Really we are. <laughs> fabric. Fabric bribes. And yeah, good, I'm sure the, my husband would appreciate that. <laughs> the good thing about it being five weeks also is you can jump in late too. So if you didn't hear about it or you need some more time, you can jump in, you know, the second or third week and get caught up and it's easy to get caught up because it's kind of a leisurely pace. Um, well, exactly. That was the thing because there's not so much to do each week. If you do fall behind, it's super easy to get caught up. That was the other thing we took into consideration, right? Is that if people are going to end up falling behind because again, life commitments, life happens, darn life it doesn't know when to stay out of its way, you know? So you need, you know, if you need to fall, be if you have to fall behind for whatever reason, not to panic, the weeks, if you saw the breakdown, there's not a lot to do each week. It's going to be super easy to get caught back up. No problem at all. Like, you know, I know it doesn't take a week to attach handles. I know it doesn't take a week to install zippers, but 
you know, again, these were things we took into consideration when we made the timeline. It was a lot longer when we originally d did it up, and then I was like, okay, that's a bit long, like eight weeks to make a bag? No, that's a bit insane. <laughs> and uh, someone had a question. Um, maybe, Danny, you know the answer to this. They wanted to know um, where to I, I think, uh, where to find the tabs on the iPad for I the... I think Rama actually posted something like screenshots. Screenshots? Yes, okay. in the group. I think in the group under on the um, if you go to where the album is, if you look through the comments, I believe somebody asked it in the comments. If I'm remembering correctly, maybe Bronwyn can can answer this. But I think it was on the comments in the album. If you scroll through, there's some questions there, and you should find the answer to your question there. And Bronwyn and I are taking screenshots and we're posting them as we go, just to make sure. You know, I know it's repetitive and it looks very repetitive, but it's just to make sure everybody sees it and it keeps it pretty fresh in the page or in the comments. Um, so if you go look through the comments, you should be able to find that answer. I know she did post it and I'm almost sure it was in the album. Okay, excellent. Bronwyn can maybe answer that. Thank you. Okay, so... Uh, hold on. Bronwyn has arrived. Woo! Bronwyn! <laughs> <laughs> Show your face, Bronwyn. I also saw a ton of people jump on, so I was hoping to get, um, I think almost 10 people joined us in the last few minutes. So I was hoping to do some more introductions and um, we'll see if Bronwyn will make an appearance also. So um, I'm just gonna go down the list. So if you could just tell me, uh, your, well, I'll, I'll call out your name, but where you're from and if you're working on a project, if you have uh, progress uh, to show us. Uh, let's start with Nikki. Hey guys, um, I don't have my uh, screen up. Um, oh, there's Bronwyn. <laughs> hey, Bronwyn. <laughs> um, I'm working on an airplane right now for my sister to carry her pump in, and I'm from Southern California. Didn't say that. Um, really happy to be here and to have figured this out. Everyone knows I'm not a person. You got it, you got it. Okay, how about you, Diane? What are you working on tonight? Hi, I'm working on the airplane bag. I'm getting it cut out, getting ready to sew. Excellent, where are you, where are you from, Diane? Oklahoma. Oklahoma, excellent. Mm -hmm. And I saw Jeff jumped on. Jeff, where are you from and what are you working on if you're working on anything? Hey, I'm uh, from Warner Robins, Georgia, and I'm working on the Oreo bag, the Oslo craft bag, and also I do uh, some work for an organization called the Rare Bears for Children with Cancer, where we build, uh, make the bears and send them to them, and then they donate them to hospitals. That's awesome. What, what did you say that was called, Rare Bears? Rare Bears, R A R. Mm -hmm. And I think you emailed me about this before. Um, is it just rarebears.com? Yes, I believe that's it. I'll send you the I'll send you the link. Okay, Danny, did you want to post that in the comments if you could? Rarebears.com in case Absolutely. anyone was interested in seeing more. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I mean, get him right. There we go. Is it hard? Yeah. Is it hard to make that? Because I've never oh, made like a full-on stuffed animal before. Not, not, no, it's not. It's not really at all. Okay. Patterns are real easy. They prefer you to uh, send the bear unstuffed so they can use hap hypo allergy. Okay. Uh, nothing so it will not affect the children. That makes uh, sense. Okay, thank you, mm -hmm. Danny. Yeah, Danny posted on the screen the, the website address in, in case anyone's interested in that. That's it. Excellent. Thanks, Jeff. Okay. All right. Hey, Charlotte, where are you from and what are you working on? <laughs> Or Carol, if you're Bronwyn's if you're, working hard to try to get we can hear you, Bronwyn, if you talk. All right, Bronwyn, we'll we'll skip to you. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself, Bronwyn? <laughs> what do you mean you can hear me? I, I hear didn't you say anything. Your, mic around, your camera and being all disorderly over there and stuff. <laughs> well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we heard all that, Bronwyn. We heard all of it. The S word, the whole nine. <laughs> Bronwyn, you're such a troublemaker. Jeez. You didn't, hear, you didn't hear that stuff I said about Danny, did you? Oh. Did I say that? No. <laughs> oh, 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 we heard all that. <laughs> I kept wondering why I could only see myself on the screen, and now I can only see Jeff. It's whoever talked. Oh, look at the... On the right side, press their uh, icon. Yeah. 
So press Jeff one more time, it should unpin him, and then whoever talks will pop to the front. Oh, yeah, oh okay. Yeah, 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 I'm good. Um, what was the question? Um, oh, what are, what are you working on and where you're from? Um, I'm from New Zealand. I am currently not working on anything. I've just got in here. I've just been on an eight mile walk. Wow. So no, Danny, I am not in my pajamas. <laughs> hey, I was just covering you. You were Broadway. I was giving you a reason. It's a good Last point because I, I am often out. in my pajamas. <laughs> Um, but I think it's like, I don't know, 1.30 or something in the um, Saturday afternoon. Oh, Saturday. Still Friday yeah, over so here. So I've just, I walked into the city and um, had met my sister for breakfast. Um, uh, it's a beautiful day here. So I've just come in because Michelle was talking about the Tudor. So I wanted to say a couple of things. Oh, yeah, go ahead. The, the only... The only reason I said don't cut before Monday was because of if you are fussy cutting, I do want to post the picture of what I did when I fussy cut my front panel so that if people are fussy cutting, they might want to wait and see that. If you're not fussy cutting, then of course there's no big deal. And if you know what you're doing, then there's also no big deal. But if you are new to the fussy cutting concept and you want to have this little tip that I've got, then it's a good idea to wait. Excellent. And you said that'll be on Monday? Is that right? Well, so, yeah, but see, here's the thing. Because um, my Monday is going to come a lot earlier than the Northern, well, than the US Monday. So I need to discuss really with Michelle when we're going to start posting because all of the New Zealand and Australian and Europeans, Europeans? Like, um, we'll have Monday before the US do. That makes so, sense. Like, say, for example, now it's after midday. So if this was Monday for me, it would be after midday. Australia's awake, we're awake, we're ready to get going, whereas it st would still be Sunday night for you guys. So I think um, I might be posting, the, particularly the first one might be getting posted a little bit earlier. Okay, gotcha. So that people who do want to fussy cut can get ahead and get on with it. Okay. Who are waiting for that tip. Does that I, make sense? It does make sense. Bronwyn, Bronwyn, why don't you make a post in the group um, Sunday, your Sunday, and go ahead and post that where we've been posting our little announcements. Well, I might as well just go ahead and post it in the album. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Because it, it, I want that that the picture that I took of that fussy cutting to be in the album so that people can refer to it. Yeah, so I think we'll just have to do particularly do that one early. Yeah, that's fine. Thank I don't think anybody's going to complain. Michelle. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm the boss here? Um, no. <laughs> you did say that you were the beauty really early. Pardon? Pardon? Some people get up really early, so they'll see it right away. Correct. And so some can, you know, and some people don't up. sleep, <laughs> like <laughs> me. <laughs> like I'm sure Dan will be up when it's being posted and he'll see it. Yeah. So he will he'll be able to hush, start hush. his cutting. <laughs> that's true. Danny sees everything. I do see yeah. everything. Did you not Jeff, did you hear my son? He says I see everything. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> they usually do it in this like creepy Smeagolish voice almost like it's I'm like I don't sound like that why are you making me sound really creepy <laughs> oh I know how you sound beautiful just beautiful <laughs> I, I, was think, I was thinking about you this morning when I was out in a boat, out in a boat? <laughs> <laughs> did you have fun eh <laughs> oh out in a boat like a goat <laughs> Y'all are just so funny. I actually, I have, hi everybody, Lauren here. I actually have a, a joke about Canada. Excellent. Uh -oh. so how, how did Canada come up with its name? They, they, put the, they put the letters in the hat and they pulled them out one at a time and said, see eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. 
<laughs> Lauren, I don't know if we're friends anymore. I don't know. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm going to have to use that to Canadians. <laughs> you can be my friend. I hear, every time I hear somebody from Canada, I think of that joke in my head. So I have to keep my uh, my. <laughs> well, the, the first time I spoke with Bronwyn, she says, "You don't have you don't have an accent. You don't sound very Canadian." I went, "Um, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry." Eh? And she's like, "There it is." <laughs> like, Darn it! <laughs> All right, it's just in us from birth. <laughs> <laughs> let's skip over. We have a few more introductions. Um, Lauren, Lauren already popped in, but Lauren, where are you from? Tell if you would mind telling everybody. Hello. Okay, so this is baby Rosalind. She says hi. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Twelve weeks on set. She's we getting so big. I know. She's a, she's a chunk. Look at this chin of hers. She's got like. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, we live in southern Utah, about two hours north of Vegas. Um, and yeah, right now I'm working. I have to. I have a sweat going on my, my back, and so I'm just a sneak peek of the one I'm in. Oh, she's eating my arm, so apparently. <laughs> Save the arm, hurry. <laughs> I'm going I'm to talk off camera. All right, yeah. we'll see you in a second then. <laughs> Robert needs to stop beating her camera up. All right, I saw... Danielle, I saw Danielle jump in. I don't know where Danielle came from. It was like out of nowhere. Yeah, but see her on the thingy pop up. Danielle, if you wouldn't mind telling everyone what where you're from and if you're working on anything tonight. Now, I, yeah, I've been here since the beginning. Hey, Sarah, buddy. Um, hey, I'm Danielle. From, uh, Marietta, Georgia. Hey, Joe. Hello. Hey, Danielle. Um, I'm not working on anything right now, and I'm still working. I'm a um, nanny in the evening, so. I'm still working, sir. Calm <laughs> down. Now you can talk to the guy. I need you to be calm, though. Come say hi. <laughs> That's fine. Come say hi. I need you to be calm. Though. Say hello. Hi. 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 Hey. Okay, peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Bye. It's a story before I fall on it. Thanks. So that's it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw Colleen jump on. Colleen, where are you from and what are you working on tonight? Louisville, North Carolina. <laughs> I'm going to make some snap tabs later. I'm working on those. Thank you, whoever got me addicted to that. You're welcome. I was going to say, it I, thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was. Look it up. <laughs> I'm going a little crazy with snap tabs, um, but I'm working on some pouches with camping fabric. I'm going to big, huge camp out at the end of the month. We're having a swap. So, so I'm gonna sell these. I'm gonna sell bear snap tabs because they're it's they're all grizzly bear, papa bear, polar bear, Kodiak bear campers, and uh, I made this cool guinea pig pouch. Oh. The guinea pig snap tab, the guinea pig vinyl, and the, the guinea pig fabric is from um, Spoonflower. Spoonflower. We're going to have to First find that, right, Violet? There's a guinea pig. Oh. <laughs> and there's treats. Oh, and then I have guinea pig vinyl, so I made a pouch from your fabric, uh, I mean, from your cork pattern with vinyl. Yeah, hey, that, that hey, one. Colleen. Pat had a question over on Facebook. She wanted to know what the snap tabs were. Um, can you give us some more information? Is it a pattern you got somewhere? And um... snap tabs are addictive. If you have a embroidery machine, I have a very basic embroidery machine. I can do four by four. And snap tabs, literally, they're just you can. I use Sarah's cork. I use vinyl and the snap. You can make a snap, or you can do a, a rivet at the top. There's different patterns. They're like two or three bucks, so it's kind of like candy. I just keep buying them and making them. Where I also you, have little where do, you, where do you find the pat where do you find the patterns from? Is it a certain one specific website or they're all different. Um I started with Crashing Waves, which um, Crashing Waves. Okay. Who was it? And that and that's uh there's a Facebook group and she's got an Etsy and a 
and a, um, a, a website. You go on and you put snap tap digital files. There's tons of people who make digital files for all kinds of things. It's kind of crazy. Um, like I said, it's super addictive. I mean, I've got weeping angels. I've got jeeps. I've got kitty unicorns. Oh. <laughs> oh, I've got Violet. HK. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here you go, oh, Danny. Oh, look, the TARDIS. TARDIS. Of course, because I like my TARDISes. Um, those are just some. I've got a minion, but it's on my school badge. Um, and I'm getting ready to do some Doctor Who. I mean, not Doctor Who, um, Harry Potter, because I have friends at school that love Harry Potter. So, And you can even do mousey in the hoop and there's hairs that you can make it's kind of crazy That's and so thank cute. you for whoever got me in this again <laughs> Sarah I'll shoot you the Etsy store that does the mouse Stop. ears I actually have it I have it bookmarked because oh, yeah. I, yeah, I can't think of the name that's right all now. my faults <laughs> do you mean and like, I mean there's a Harry Potter like, set with like eight ears? different ones like on a headband yeah they're in the hoop yeah and then but, you just put them but, on a headband that's They're cool. different themes, like Harry Potter, Snow White, you name it. There's themes for everything. There's tons oh, of I them. Oh, I forgot to put like, anything back in the bag. I have and you know you can files. scrap files. I haven't actually made them yet, but I have I have some of the files. Much like fabric, I buy files faster than I can make them. So yeah, I do. And that there's so many too. good free ones out there too. Yes. It's a little cool thing for pouches. I've been cutting up the little scraps that you can't do anything with. Yep. Even the sparkle and making tabs for my zippers. Just put a little rivet in it, even with the sparkle vinyl. Awesome. So like, I have this tiny little piece of scrap. I can probably make two or three snap tabs out of that. Wow. That's oh my crazy. gosh. Crazy. Because if you do like oh, okay. the square ones, the applique squares, it's like a two and a half by two and a half inch square for to cover the applique part. How much do you sell those for? Which somebody needs to post a really good link. What did I don't you know say? how to do did the app. Did you say $2, Christina? Four. Four? Okay, four, four dollars. Nice. The yes, hand sanitizer be... ones, I sell with a Bath and Body Works sanitizer for eight. Okay. Cool. Awesome. I think Both I missed... I, I... Party favors or classroom gifts. Oh, yeah. They yeah. Would be. Oh yeah, yeah, pencil toppers. What else? Pencil toppers. Um, book, like with elastic, you can make book uh, mark things that wrap yeah, around. The planner, yeah, the yeah. planner elastics, bookmarks, yeah. the bookmark files, planner elastic files. It's oh, addictive. Really cool. uh, I might have bought five day. more from Crashing Waves today because she posted whatever freebie she posted and there was like five other new files so of course i bought all the files of course <laughs> and people keep posting freebies somebody posted a cute little uh frankenstein snap tab head and you can also make a, a bunch of them into like a little decoration yeah. thing yeah. oh like a garland like, oh my yeah like a garland oh cool um, Michelle had a question over on Facebook. She said, is there a Facebook group devoted to the snap tabs? I know Crashing Waves, which was the group that Colleen mentioned, um, they have a lot of designs. They have a Facebook group, um, but do you guys know if there are general snap tab groups or is it just by designer? Um, it's covered quite a bit in the embroidery group settings. Of course, it requires an embroidery machine, so most of the embroidery groups will cover it in some way, shape, or form, in addition to the other kinds of embroidery that are out there. Okay. All and right. some of the um, the the, the uh, vinyl groups too also yes. do the embroidery. So somehow I'm in like three or four or five now <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> I, that happened to me with my cricket. I got a cricket, and I'm now in like five different cricket groups. Um, I see Fabric Vendor had a question. Is it Snap Tab or Tag with a G? It's Tab, tab. right? With a B. Okay. Tab with a B. With a B. B. Snap Tab yeah. with a B. Gotcha. You use the um. Where am I thinking? Crashing Waves. The, yes, uh, Crashing Waves was the name. That's correct. It's Crashing Waves Designs, and you use yes. the the um Cam Snaps. Cam snap. Yes. Okay. I, yes, I now have a can snap machine or thing, and 
at hearts and in circles, and I've got rivets. And depending oh on what, depending on the thickness of what you're doing. So, like, if you're using marine vinyl versus like Sarah's glitter vinyl, you might want to get the long post um, cam snaps if you're doing those, because otherwise the post will be too small; it will pop off. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. I have a question, group. Um, is there anybody that knows about Dookie Industrials? I'm trying to do this line up at the top here, and it just looks like a straight line. Like, aren't defined. If so, I've tried to like tighten my stitches and everything, but it's not really working. Does anyone have any ideas? I've personally never sewn on an industrial machine. Um, I, have oh, a I don't know, hospital, but it's trial and error. Okay, or maybe if someone's watching on Facebook or YouTube, maybe you can let us know in the comments, and Danny will watch out for that, so he'll let us know if something comes up. Okay, I think there's a few more people that I didn't get to for intros. I'm, I'm trying to keep Lisa. track. Um, Lisa, if you're yep, watching, I'm uh, here. where are you from, and what are you working on tonight if you're working on anything? I am from Texas, and I'm working on a <gasps> That's so baby cute. quilt for my That's awesome. granddaughter. Can y'all see it? Oh, yeah. Pandas? Yeah, it looks yeah, adorable. Yeah. So cool. Is that applique, or? I actually, um, I did it in my, uh, my Destiny. I scanned it in, and I made it a machine embroidery applique. So I digitized a line drawing, and I did it all in the hoop. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so the the clamshells that normally are done by English piecing, I did them, I just uh, sewed some um, no-show mesh to it, and then flipped it, and it had no raw edges. So I'm excited. Awesome. <laughs> The babies do this month. I'm uh, pushing the envelope here to get it done. <laughs> well, at least you have a good start before the baby's nothing. coming. Um, I was supposed to make a baby quilt for one of so, Danny's friends. And, uh, his birthday is actually like, this week or something. Danny right? says the baby's birthday is this uh, week. He's going to be one, right, Danny? Yeah. <laughs> oh my that, like, and I did not finish it, so... <laughs> Um, I've Diane. already made several. I've already made several receiving blankets and burp rags and different things for her already. So this is uh, the last thing. And I've got another granddaughter due in, in November, but her quilt's already done. Oh, nice. So <laughs> a little backwards. But Congratulations! That's awesome. <laughs> it's downstairs. I would show it to y'all, but I don't have it. It's downstairs. It's already. It's in a gift bag. Her baby shower's tomorrow. Nice. So. Thank you. Thank I'm you excited. For oh, two granddaughters. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And I think there might be one more person. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, oh, sorry, Danny. <laughs> um, Diane was asking about the tension on the Juki Industrial Machine. How's the tension? And she also suggested rethread the machine. Um, Terry's also suggesting uh, to loosen the tension, so I'm not sure if those will help, but those were just some of the comments on Facebook and YouTube. Diane has one. Uh, yeah, Diane says she has a Juki Industrial. Thank you. And if Carol's still around, I don't think I got to Carol yet, but if you'd like to introduce yourself if you're still here. And I think I think that might be the whole list. Uh, Lisa, she's around. What is a destiny? Um, Lisa, uh, Lisa, Karen wanted to know what is a destiny. It's a baby lock uh, sewing machine in embroidery, and it has a, it's called an IQ designer in it, and uh, you can scan in images and make them embroidery designs. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, but now they came out with the Solaris. The, the destiny was the top of the line. Back in 2014, now the Solaris is the top of the line. It's got a projector in it. It's really cool. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I'm not making the plunge, though. I'm not making the plunge. <laughs> <laughs> when we were looking at our embroidery machines, I had no clue the cost of them. And when I'm like, oh, I like this one over here. It's great. 
and the price was like ten thousand dollars or fourteen thousand dollars for like I'm like oh my gosh i can't believe they're they're very costly but they are very awesome yeah experience. they can be i have a tin needle embroidery machine too on top of that but. oh wow wow nice <laughs> that's what i wanted <laughs> i shot that yeah <laughs> I think mine was fifteen thousand. Is what I paid for my embroidery machine. I know. That's Crazy. a lot of like blankets. That ten thousand dollar yeah. one. <laughs> I have to say, I was impressed. I went to AQS in Grand Rapids last week, and in the classrooms, they had all Bernina machines, and they were the Quilters Edition with stitch regulators and for free motion on a domestic machine it's like oh my gosh anyone can do it so what is the what does the stitch regulator do or what why is it better than well, just a regular no matter how you move it with free motion there are even stitches so and you know i've been trying to master that for quite a while and i'm not good at it but it was really cool. I tried it, and I could do all these designs because the machine controls you with the stitch <laughs> Great. That's all I need. I'm proud of you. I mean, it's better than a long arm because you can do it at home. So, like, it was really interesting, though. These machines, they're, you know, like 5,500 at these shows. 3900 you know, great discounts. I couldn't do it, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I could do all these designs with the stitch regulator. Hmm. So, just sharing. Interesting. Hey, Charlotte, I think I, I, think I missed you. Um, would you mind introducing yourself to everyone, telling us where you're from and if you're working on anything? Can you hear me? Yep. Loud yep. and clear. Okay. Um, I'm in Benton, Kentucky, and I'm originally from Louisiana, and I'm working on a tutor bag because I'm you know, <gasps> going to go see Tula Pink next week. Can you see this? Oh, that's so, awesome. Since I get to go see her, I had to make something with her fabric. So That's so sweet. You I should get her to sign it. A tula bag that doesn't, the sew along doesn't start till Monday. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that is her Thursday evening and Friday morning. She's got a lecture and a trunk show at the Paducah Quilt Show. So, oh, cool. so Michelle, it, it sounds like someone's choosing Tula Pink over us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is like, this you is need like to get her to autograph it. I, I made a bag when she came to visit us in 2013 or something and she autographed the inside of my bag. It was an Amy butler or birdie thing and she and she will love grace gracefully autograph anything and then i oh. had uh, melody oh. miller autograph my bag of melody miller fabric and i had sarah autograph my airplane bag this summer so you got to do that it's like a thing <laughs> and it's yeah, still in there all these years mine was made with nightshade i hope you'll take a picture I should go get it and show you in the group that would be amazing to see that so I have that stitch regulator that she's talking about. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like a little, I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, I see. So it's a little, okay. it's like another, it's like another presser foot and it plugs in to the machine so that it, the computer runs it. And it basically it's this foot, like it, it's made to keep up with your movement and your motion okay. um, to keep the stitches even. So. Um, but I, I agree the machines are like so really expensive, the, the, but they're really good. But, um, I mean, I got mine pre used and it works great. So <laughs> do, you, do you use your stitch regulator a lot then? Well, um, when I free motion quilt, but I haven't, I haven't done that, um, in a little bit, but I did, I did, um, try it out and, and test it. And there is a little bit of a learning curve because some of the quilters who, who have been doing free motion forever, they don't like it. So they're like, oh, I don't even use mine. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but, but I tried it and I could see the difference and I liked it. So I think it's it's a nice um, tool to have. And 
Uh, some of the mid-arm mid -arm machines automatically have this built into them, like the sit-down mid-arm. Okay. Um, and those are nice, too. So it's just a lot less frustrating to get your um, quilting stitches even with these guys. Interesting. Thank you. Yep. Uh -huh. See, and this is why I still work. <laughs> <laughs> Vicki over on Facebook says, I'm going to Tula Pink next week, too. I live in Murray and work in Benton. Maybe I'll see you next week. Oh, hi, Vicki. Right down the road. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so get her to sign yours. Here's my nightshade. Birdie sling. Oh, that's nice. That is it's nice. got really inside nice. even all the ladies, the original ladies, and somewhere. Oh, here's my jewel of pink. It's kind of faded because it's been a while, and I use this bag all the time. And it's like one of my favorite bags. So, the computer bag with the, like you're doing with the new ladies. They're over here somewhere. There they are. Okay, so I had, I had a few questions that I wanted to ask to the group, so if anyone wants to answer, this can go out to anyone, but um, what is on your sewing bucket list, like your, your ultimate project that you want to get to one day on the bucket list? I'm getting to it. The Denise girl freewheeling sew along is happening. Oh, this, okay. I want to make that quilt. Gotcha. So that's the bucket it's list. Right I'm right waiting now. on my pattern. Nice. I would love to own oh, yeah, a coalition bag and tortoise. Those are on my bucket list. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'd like to do a quilt. Oh, yes, Mirto, a quilt. That I would love to do one day. You know, I don't, I've never done a quilt. I've done a quilt top, but that's about it. Oh, interesting. I, I do. I do garments, I do bags and stuff like that, but I've never done a quilt, a complete quilt. Oh, you, if you do garments and bags, you can quilt with no problem. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. I've never, I've never done but, it, so that's on my bucket list. This is on my bucket list. I want to someday do this Dear Jane quilt where the, you know, the blocks oh, are like this big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, those pieces are so little. Yeah. I know. It's on my bucket list, though. I hope I get to it. Wow. <laughs> What about you, Sarah? Do you have anything on your sewing bucket list? Uh, I have two things. So uh, I would like to make a cathedral window quilt one day, like a, like a full quilt, not just like a block for a pouch. And then um, my English paper piecing. I've shown it on the show before, but I'd like to finish it one day. I think I have it in here somewhere. Um, let me pull it out. You were working on that on the retreat last year. <laughs> It's just hard because I have to prep. I have to prep pieces, and like I, I seldom feel like prepping pieces, so that I can have them ready. So like I've just got um, sections of it finished. Here's my green, and then here's my big piece I got. So pretty. So I don't know. Is that and this is from um, the new Hexagon Millifori Quilt Along. It's a free quilt along, but you need the book um, to go along with the quilt along. Working on that too. Yes, sir. Whoever's sewing, you sewing, might want to mute. Your microphone. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good tip. If you if you're sewing, that's completely fine. But um, if you could just put your mic on mute while you're sewing, because otherwise the mic picks up the sewing machine. And then if you want to say something again, you can just well, unmute it. If that helps. Sorry, I thought I was mute. No, that's okay. What's the what's can I show my face? What's well, the easy way to mute and unmute? Because I'm having a problem screen, like finding it. Should be, tap the screen once, and on the left hand side you should have a microphone you can click again to mute. Okay. Oh, I got it. Well, on my back of list, I want to make a Baltimore quilt. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I know what that looks like. I'll have to Google that after the show. There's one that's that's te a Texas theme, and that's the one I really want to make. Okay. I just haven't taken the leap to buy it yet. It's like for the whole kid. Well, it's it's on a um, you know block of the month right now, and I think it ends up being like three hundred and eighty nine dollars or something by the time you're done with it. Oh, that's just for the all the patterns. Kid. 
Yeah. Wow. I got a lot Are of you just talking about a Baltimore album quilt? A, a Baltimore uh, album uh, style quilt that's all applique each block? Yes. Yeah, okay. That's wow. intense. I can't handle all that applique. <laughs> I'd love to, but... <laughs> Whoops. I'm working on Amelia Flory, too. How far did you get with yours? I'm on the first one. Oh, nice. That's oh. it. Oh, that's pretty. So. Looks good. It's a long-term project. Yeah, for sure. It for sure is. <laughs> Imagine you show someone that, like, yeah, can you make me one? And you yeah. just laugh. <laughs> like, why are you laughing? <laughs> you don't know how many hours this thing takes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get that. Yeah, I will that will you make me a quilt? Will you make me a quilt? <laughs> okay, so here is my very first quilt top. Can you see it? Oh, oh yeah, I can oh. see it. I see the music note Jeez. fabric. That's right. And I made this, but it's just the top. Do you see how it's just the top? Yeah, yeah. So I don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> 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 you go online and you fill out a form and you pack it up in a box and you send it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's I haven't even bind I haven't done the binding or anything. It's just the uh, I just pieced it together. That's all I no, did. No. Well, it needs to be quilted before you bind it. Oh, see, that's how much I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said, like Missouri Star does long arming. You can check if you have a local quilt shop if they do long arming. But yeah, um, yeah you pack it up and send it off and <laughs> I mean you send it off just like this I mean I didn't put anything on there there's just the top yeah that's all you no, do you yeah. have to count I have, you have to make a, I have a long arm thing. chain I have it a long depends. arm chain so okay. Missouri, if you're doing Missouri Star you can pick out your backing um in your same order and they'll piece it together and put it on there if you buy so the I don't fabric even need to do like batting or anything else this is all I have they, to do is just the top they include they the batting and the price of the of the free motion. At least Missouri Star. I've had them do a couple of my quilts. Wow! <laughs> I highly well, recommend. What I'll be doing Walton. then? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. If, if you get, get a local quilt, quilt store, I want to get this up in my classroom. Local. Oh, you can get somebody local. You just need ma to make the top like four inches bigger all the way around. So th yeah, I mean the back. Right I mean good. and yeah, yeah, the back for the quilt. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Well, yeah, because I've, I've been promising the kids I'm going to be bringing in the quilt I made, and that was three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have a long arm machine. Oh, yeah, you could send it to oh, Lisa. That's it. We're going to send you all of our quilts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty lucky. My, my aunt has a long arm. She lives like, blocks away from me, and I've never made a quilt oh. in my life. So. That's awesome. I made I, I make a lot of memory quilts and send them out. So I do memory quilts and t-shirt quilts. Nice. What interfacing do you use for the t-shirt quilts, oh. Jeff? Um, almost like the one up one. Same thing like we use for the bags. Okay. The like the one up one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what I use too. Eliminate the stretching. Yeah. Yep. Just iron it on and. Uh, but I'll do that and then send it. Uh, I got a guy that lives about 20 miles from me, and I'll take it up there with the backing I want and pick out the um, the sandwich in between, okay. and um, and you know, and then he'll do it, and then I'll pick the design I want quilted on it, and he'll take care of that. So the, I just the, included in. I just include that in the price. How much do you mind if I ask? How much, like approximately, you charge for a memory quilt? Like a range, maybe. Let's see. I finished one that was a full size quilt, and it was right, and and they of course provided the t-shirts, and it was right around five hundred and seventy-five dollars. Okay. So. These are five quilts that I have that I was supposed to finish before Christmas, and I don't think they're getting done. Oh boy. <laughs> All the quilt tops, they're all done. They're all made. They're all pieced. I just need to actually. 
I don't know, Michelle, by the way you work, you're going to have them done by Halloween. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I, can, I can show you them if you'd like. <laughs> All right, Michelle, if you want to be you can get them done quick. Yeah. So here's one. It's a baby one. Oh, I like that. I, don't know oh, that's that's cute. Cute. I love those colors. Oh. Yeah, those are great. I don't know if you can see it's Winnie the Pooh. Where's my camera? Oh, I don't. Yeah, I, see oh, yeah. I see it. I, I saw so it. There's yeah, that. Yeah. So Michelle, you, Michelle, you can send me that Winnie the Pooh one. You can send that to me. Like, <laughs> 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 so <laughs> this one, uh, the Pooh. This one I made for my husband. It was his Christmas gift last year. It's still not done. Listen, um, so he'll get it this year for Christmas him. again. He don't need it. He don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor That's our that's our family last name. <laughs> this is done in our family our family tartan. Oh, that's cool. cool. Oh. That's cool. I like that. And then what did you this say? one was supposed to be for my father-in-law for Father's Day. Again, I'm a little bit behind. Well, you know they have Father's Day every year. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but you know what? My husband said, oh, well, no, he likes money for golf, so I figure I'll give it to him for Christmas. So here's this. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Christmas this year, Michelle? I know. Pardon? Christmas this year? <laughs> yeah, this year. How about home? <laughs> I don't know, Bronwyn. This, this sew along has taken five weeks out of my life, but that's okay. Oh, no, yeah, okay. it is. <laughs> And then there's oh, this one. This is going to be. That's awesome. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. I like the bright colors. Yeah, I love that. With the yeah, bright that's colors. My, that'll be for my in-laws. And then this one, my daughter already claimed, even though she's already got a quilt that I made. Oh, I, I like that one. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I like that. I like yeah. that. I don't know about that's that for awesome. a 13-year-old in her room. It might get dirty really easy. But and then I've got other ones that I've been working on with my son that also needed to be finished, and there's two behind me that need to be finished. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get them done before then because, like, I feel like a dog. I see a new bag, and it's like squirrel. I have to make it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I finished the quilt top that I I was on the Friday that for my parents' fiftieth anniversary. Yes, and if there's fifty pictures pictures of them on there from their 50 years on the front there's another 50 pictures on the back of mom oh, wow. over stand and that was wow. the party this weekend and i made blocks for the back of for the back of the quilt that i put in the middle of the table and everybody autographed them as the guests oh, cool. that's so that's they'll cool. be on the oh, back okay. Wow. And, uh, and then the other thing I did was I got excited because I made a geranium dress, which is for a little girl. And I was like, oh, a geranium dress. I'm going to make more fabric from Spoonflower, make my niece a dress with all their faces, all the pictures on it. And my mom loved my nie my two-year-old niece wearing this whoops, dress with all the pictures on it. So that's a great idea. That was this past weekend. It was pretty awesome. And the dress was so easy to make. If you need a dress to make, it's pretty easy. Yeah, it's really easy. Hey, I saw Queen of Creative just jumped on a couple minutes ago. Um, did you want to introduce yourself, tell us where you're from, and if you're working on anything right now? Hi, my name is Anita, and I'm from Davenport, Iowa. And I'm working on so many things right now, actually. Um, I'm trying to get these fundraiser bags finished for my grandson. He's got to have open heart surgery in about a month and a half. So we have to travel to Pennsylvania to get that surgery done. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, yeah, he's going to be, we're going to be uh, okay. like off work for like three weeks. So I'm trying to help my daughter raise money for to cover for when we're not staying at the, uh, the hospital housing and things like that. And just to get him from Davenport to um, Pennsylvania and back. And, um, Oh, I'm, I'm working on a weighted blanket for someone. I've got a quilt on the design wall. I've got uh, another quilt on the bed that needs to be uh, quilted and bound. I've got a lot of stuff going on. You don't have a GoFundMe or anything set up for, for him, do you, by any chance? 
Oh, yeah, actually, we do. Um, I'm a part of Fandom and Stitches, and okay. we do paper piecing, and they're raffling off a superhero quilt. Okay. And it's, uh, oh, gosh, I can send you the link. Okay, yeah, Danny wants and to put the link up on the screen that. if you have it. Yeah. Yeah, I do paper piecing. Danny, you oh might like God. this. Oh, wow. My son absolutely loved wow. that movie. I love that. Yeah, oh, and... Uh-oh, here. We'll put it back up there. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. nice. Yeah, that's one of them. And then I did a different one um, for the quilt. And we all, and we've got people from South Africa in our group that have sent blocks in and made uh, this really big, huge superhero quilt. And that's one of the biggest fundraisers we've got going for them right now. You can actually put that link in the chat and while you're talking right now. I'll take it out of that chat and I'll put it in the okay. other chat and then I'll put it on the screen if you want to do that now. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to end up messing everything up, but I'll get it to, to you. <laughs> I'll get it to you somehow. Yeah, we could post it in the Facebook group later. Okay. okay I'll try to do awesome. it now, but watch me mess up. <laughs> oh, Sarah, do you remember this one? Of course, I was going to ask about her earlier, and uh, I remember her. She's so beautiful. Yes, yeah, she she has gotten so good, and she doesn't she doesn't bark at anybody approaching me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I I taught at a retreat uh, just for some background information. I taught at a retreat that the Crafty Gemini hosted uh, last year in August, I think, and it was in Florida. And Myrta was there with her dog. And I think because I was, the, the stance that I was taking with her dog, because I was walking around the room and just, just helping everyone. And I think she thought that I was trying to um, come over to hurt Myrta. And so she, um, she did not like that. Let's just put it that way. And uh, I didn't mean her any harm, but I think it was just, um, I had an authoritative position because I was the teacher. And uh, she barked a few times. Yeah, she just did not like that. But when I wasn't, in my teacher role, I think she was totally fine, right? Yeah, she was. She just she would just bark at people approaching me most of the time, but mm -hmm. um, she does very well now. And I'll I'll be going to another retreat, and she's going to be just fine. And she uh, and I want to go hopefully next year to one of yours, so that that way, you know, learn more from you, Sarah. Learn more. <laughs> Thank you. Must have been your imposing size, Sarah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but I'll tell you, Sarah, yeah. these are the ones that rule the roof. You oh, see that one? Oh yeah. And here is my other baby. Oh. I don't know if you can see her. Come here, Boronita. Yeah, I can see and, her. <laughs> and she is a toy multi poo. And oh. Sombra and her they get along, but they rule her like there's no tomorrow. So <laughs> it's kind of funny because Size has no barrier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So kind of fun, but hopefully one of these days I'll be able to go to a retreat from you and um, and I'm having sombra, but anyway. <laughs> All right. I, I need an tell opinion. You, Sarah, your textured vinyl is wonderful to work with. It is oh, beautiful. Good. I'm so glad. I just ordered a few more colors, so. Yeah, I need to order some more because um, another friend of mine wanted to make another box, this one, and, and uh, she saw it in Celeste, and her daughter just graduated from the nursing school, so I, I'm going to go ahead and give her one. Um, okay, but awesome. it's beautiful, just beautiful. So thank you. Did, did you say texture? Excuse me? Did you say texture vinyl? Yeah. Sarah, why not just go ahead and just hand over my whole chip paycheck to you? I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm right. sure Danny laughs. <laughs> and see, this is why I still work. <laughs> I just need to just hand over my whole check to you because I'm just like, oh, well, she got, she got the tulip pink in the in the bags. I don't have to. I don't have to my brain cells to think and try to match up colors or match up designs. It's already done. Thanks. I get to save some of my brain cells. Now you have textured vinyl. I'm just gonna give you my whole check, okay? <laughs> I and they have you... it in three different colors. 
I think right. I ordered. I think I ordered four more colors. But Danielle, are, I thought you were in your bedroom. But you're. Are you driving? <laughs> I'm, I'm being bad. I am driving, but I was at a red light when I when I did it. So <laughs> no one judging you. Me, no because judging. in Georgia, you can't drive or look at videos while you're in the car. I like nine one one. There's a lady driving in Georgia with her phone right now. Uh, no. So there's <laughs> danger. So your next red light, you can kill the video, and if you've got, I had it playing when I was driving one day when Danny was texting through my Bluetooth. So I was able to participate in the conversation. Okay, yeah, I need an opinion. So this is from my Baronia bag. So this is this awesome Backstitch Villains fabric. Ooh. I have some of that. That's, that's awesome. That's, yeah, it's the, the woven from the Halloween round. So this is gonna be my main. So because it's so dark, because hello villains, does it look odd with the colored speckled natural cork? Should I go with a darker one or? Does that no, just I kind of lighten it up? I, in it? I think I love the nice. cork. It sets it, it off. I like the, the contrast is really nice. Yeah, the yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, I think it's Oh, yeah, the colors in this fabric are ridiculous. I mean, yeah, yeah, they're so bright. But it makes it pop. Yeah. That cork makes it pop really nice. But Sarah, mm -hmm. okay, I want to cool. know what other colors did you order? I ordered, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ordered brown, uh, turquoise. Oh. Um, oh. like, like a rosier gold, because the one we have right now is uh, closer to gold than it is to rose gold. And um, yeah, uh, I can't remember the fourth one. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm. Uh, they arrived yet? Shut up. I mean, whatever rose gold, whatever pink there is, I will She's be buying back. some of them. They arrived yet? <laughs> I don't think I ordered like a hot paint. Like there was a fuchsia one that I was thinking about, but I didn't order it, so I'm not sure if I should or not. I don't know. Yeah, you probably should. should. Yeah, you <laughs> probably should. Because we would all buy it. Okay. We have no more room. I'll this add that to the list. <laughs> well, hurry up and move the tennis. Yeah, I know. I've been looking every night. Every night I look. Do not, do not listen to Danny, Sarah. <laughs> All right, Danny, there's, so there's, there's going to be another There's order always space. Your way. Listen, Danny, keep that up. We're just going to throw the whole husband away, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I saw two people jump on. I saw their pictures, but I didn't catch the names. One was marked unknown. I didn't want to skip over anybody, but if you wanted to introduce yourself and tell us where you're from, um, you're just coming up as unknown on your screen, but... Um, and there was one other person where I saw their picture coming Cheryl. up and I didn't see a name. Uh, also, if you wanted to introduce yourself, and if not, that's okay too. <laughs> I see Diane and Carol are new. Okay. Sarah, if you're looking for more room to stash stuff, Danny doesn't sleep, so you have his whole half of the bed to oh, put yeah. stuff on. That sounds good. <laughs> he can just sleep I, oh, on I've the already couch. given that suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, you don't even need the couch. Just start using your couch, too. I mean, he doesn't sleep, right? So. <laughs> or move all of his video games out. Yeah. yeah. I don't have any, my video games on my computer, so I have zero extra, you know, I don't waste any space around here. Ah. Uh. You can, you can, can I please show him my first quilt? Uh, let's see your first quilt then. How do I flick my camera? Uh, probably double tap it maybe? Let's like see me. Oh, oh, tap your picture, maybe I'll flip it around. Um, tap, tap your picture in the upper right hand corner. There's going to be three dots. Yep. Click on those oh, and then camera? switch camera. Oh, there I am. Okay. Um. Just talk while you show us the quilt so you come up on oh. the main screen. Yeah, there Sorry. you Sorry. Um, yeah, there. Okay, yeah, I, I made see it. it for oh, my that daughter. is so cute. That oh, Bronwyn, that's beautiful. That's probably one of my top ten favorite quilts I've seen tonight. Wow. New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is awesome. <laughs> and I tell you what, you know, I thought I had never made a quilt before. And I thought, meh, how hard can it be? <laughs> and I started it like two months before Christmas. And it wasn't hard. But it's really time consuming. I mean, 
these blocks here have like 20 something pieces in them oh wow. oh wow so they were way more time consuming than the pigs were um and again yeah i just sent it out had it long arm and then bound it with all the leftover um fabric into the binding that looks nice it's very it's detailed pretty. for your first quote yeah mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Really nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. i thought i was very clever <laughs> oh, and here I was thinking I was doing something, trying to do my first quilt with the summer stamp, but then I'm five weeks behind again. Yeah, I'm behind. I'm well, behind too. I am halfway. Didn't to somebody say they uh, like Harry Potter? I love Harry Potter. Oh yeah. Oh, then you'll like to see this quilt if I can get to it in time. Goodness, I made one for my granddaughter. Um, it's not finished, and there it goes on the floor. I'm gonna try to turn my camera around. I like that heart quilt you have behind you. Yeah, me too. Oh, that heart quilt is the logo for the for my business. Cool. Yeah, it's called the Broken Heart Bed Company, and I wasn't able to get the um the link to post, so I went ahead and put it over on the Facebook group. But uh, this is one that I made. Oh, can oh, you see it? Okay. Sweet. Uh, it's it's. It's supposed to have been a baby quilt, but it came out a little bit bigger than I wanted it to. Oh, oh that needs to be in my life. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I want that quilt. <laughs> Is that the ones you can find online? Are those the ones you can find online? Or did you yes. make those up? No, these are from Fandom and Stitches by yes. Jennifer Offenstein. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, my God. But, awesome. yeah, it, I Wait, don't have, I've quilted <laughs> most of it. But I awesome. don't have it uh, completely done. I'm still working on it a little bit at a time. Wow. You know the bookshelf but, quilt with all the pieces? The Harry Potter say that again? quilt? Yeah, that's what this is. This is they're what it's from. That. Yes, that's all. The, yeah, they're doing that at my local quilt store. I wish I had time. Somebody's oh, teaching that as a class. I'm like, They're oh my doing gosh. Hocus Pocus now. This is the other quilt that I'm making for... Uh, that's for my grandson to take to the hospital, and all the white space is going to be uh, for the doctors and his medical staff oh. to sign it. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Cool. So precious. Oh, Danny just posted the link to Anita's grandson's GoFundMe in case anyone's oh. interested in that. It's on the screen right now. Oh, thank you so much. We'll leave it up there for a second just in case anybody wants to write it down or screenshot it or anything. Thank you. I appreciate it because... Uh, that's my heart right there, and it's just too bad that he has to go through all that at such a young age. How old is he? At any age. He just turned a year old. Oh. oh. Yeah, we just had his birthday, and we did a Grey's Anatomy theme, and I made him some baby scrubs and a little doctor coat and everything. <laughs> it was oh. so cute. It, it's hilarious. And everybody's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm making my, hey, it's my grandson. It's my only grandson. I got to go all out. His mom wants him to have Grey's Anatomy. He's named after the, one of the doctors, uh, Jackson, Jackson Avery. Oh. So if you want to. His name's not McDreamy. Oh, no, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we cry all the time about McDreamy being gone. Spoiler alert! But, yeah, we, but she <laughs> named him Jackson Avery, and we and Don't so wait. we just had to have a uh, um, we just had to have that that theme for his party. It was just really fun. All the kids came dressed as little doctors and surgeons. Aww. Yeah, it was super cute. Uh -huh. So I, I have a question about paper piecing. Are you talking to me? You had a, pa a question about paper piecing? Yeah, I was going well, in general, yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, I, I just got these in the mail. They're okay. the paper piecing hexagons. I've never done paper piecing in my life. I've never done a quilt. I've never done anything like it, but I'd like to give it a shot. Hi, my sweetheart. Anyway, um, after I've stitched them together, do I just like peel these out or like what happens to these? Some of them are wash or will dissolve. Oh. And you mm -hmm. just have to read the label. I've never actually done the hexes because I can't sit still long enough to hand sew. Mm -hmm. 
I've got to do everything on the machine. My hand sewing is really stinky. But uh, from my knowledge, I think the paper stays in on some of them. It depends on if it says that it is dissolvable. Yeah, that's those a, look yeah. like the plastic ones, though. Are those plastic? No, these are uh, it's paper piecing shapes, hexagon, two inch. They're paper? Drift quilting. It looks like paper. I mean, I... Oh, okay. So well, sometimes the Dritz makes the those plastic ones too, so you can keep reusing them and reusing them. But generally, you keep all the templates inside of the shapes until you're done with the either the block or the whole quilt, so that it yeah. keeps oh, the shape. Cool. I wasn't They're, sure either. Yeah, it says here once all pieces are stitched together, remove basting stitches and take out paper pieces. So wait, you're what are you just basting the the pieces together and once it's quilted it's some You're people? basting the fabric around the form. And then after the fabric is around that hexagon form, then you're going to um, fold the two pieces right side spacing and do a little whip stitch to sew okay. them all together around all the sides. That's why it's really time consuming. But it's nice. It's pretty. Well, I, I figured <laughs> Something for me to do while I'm watching TV late at night, you know, while this one's resting something. And yeah, it's perfect for that. But yeah, so like I said, I've just I've never done this before, so I'm like, I don't know what this is. So are you using paper, right? <laughs> uh, I use, yeah. um, like Anita mentioned, I use a water soluble paper. Paper, but if those are cardstock, you can uh, base through all of the corners. Um, like just you know, just take the thread and just make sure you go through all the corners, maybe like a quarter inch down from each of the corners. And then after you've, um, like Stephanie said, after you've whip, whip stitched all the hexagons together, so when you whip stitch, you don't grab that paper, you just grab like the fabric. Um, mm -hmm. And then you cut, when the whole quilt is, is finished, then you can just cut the basting threads and then pull the paper out and then you just have the quilt top left over. If that's what, yeah, the, if those are cardstock. Yeah, so these are cardboard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's also ways to base them. If you, when you fold the fabric down over them, if you just do like a little whip stitch through the folds at each corner, you're not actually going through the cards and you don't have to remove your stitches when you're done, the basting stitches, because the stitches are all on the back. So you're just going through all the fold. I wish I, I somewhere's my, my hexi kits I would show you. You're just going through the back side and it's just pulling it tight. And then when you show the hexagons together, you pop the papers out and the holes in the middle, cause you can literally just stick something in there and pop them out then. And you're mm -hmm. not actually, you don't actually have to go through the paper to baste. There's different ways to do it, but that's the way I do it. I'm sure that there's probably a bunch of videos, right? Oh, there's oh yeah, there's tons. Yeah. Okay. I mean, gonna... you, you could even do like a little um, glue, glue stick on there, even on the paper ones, um, and you can tear them off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, so well, I'm night, ladies, because um, my husband is going to go pretend to be a cowboy and shoot some fake guns. So I can... <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. Have a good night. See you later. <laughs> I'm happy yeah, I done... use a glue stick too. So yeah, me too. Here, like that. Oops. So you're just going through the corners where it folds and you don't have to go through the paper and then you just pop the hexagon out, which I can't do right now because I don't have them sewn together. Mm -hmm. See, hexies. Mm -hmm. Hexies that I will probably never sew in anything. <laughs> Stephanie, you said you were halfway done with something? Oh, yeah, yeah. The tulip pink butterfly quilt. Do you want to see it? Oh, yeah. Yes. All right, hold on. I'm going to do the little three dot thing. Wait. Mm -hmm. Turn around. To camera. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. I saw for a second. Oh, that's so awesome. that's my design wall. So those are the two oh, wow. wings. Oh, that's neat. And I'll go up close. So this is a pretty time consuming quilt, too, because there's a bunch of little tiny piecing. Yeah. Sarah and these are like all liberal. Yep. Liberty fabrics. Oh, cool. So, yeah. That's nice. And thanks. So this is what I'm currently trying to get done. Um, I'm actually doing this for a, a, a client, so. 
Wow. I don't even That's want to dare ask what was something that could yeah, that I know. <laughs> I saw when Sarah made that one, how much time's involved. Holy guacamole. I've been keeping track of my time, and I am um, approaching 100 hours Whoa. right now. Oh. Yeah. So, and I this client I've been making a quilt for, because it's going to be a king size, so I have to enlarge it, too. Um, but I, I am going to send it off to a long armor. I'm not going to quilt it. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but this client... Um, she she's she pay she pays very well. She understands. She's a needlepoint. Um, she does needlepoint stitching and stuff. So, she's a you know she she knows what the time it takes, and she really appreciates it. So I like working. I like doing this for her because I don't think I would <laughs> make a quilt for anybody else. <laughs> wow. Yeah, isn't it something how much people don't appreciate the work that we do? Yeah. Well, it's funny. Crazy. This is what everybody used to tell me. Uh, are you sure that that's the cost? And I said, yes, that's the cost. And they go, well, I think I could, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, and, they, and when you think about it, you know, they have them thinking mm -hmm. about it. And I go, okay, well, that's fine. Well, it, is that just because of your labor? And I said, well, a lot of it is the labor. And to go, oh, well, um, I said, okay, just think about it. She goes, well, I, you know, so what I tell them is this. When I send it, she goes, well, maybe I can do it. And I said, okay, so I'll send them, uh, you know, like if I'm going to charge $40 for something, I'll I'll send them everything, the material, the the zipper, the everything, and then they go, well, what is this for? And I said, well, you think my my labor is not worth anything, so go ahead and just do it. <laughs> and they they step back and they go, oh, so right. It, it, they think your labor is nothing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, Terrible. guys, I'm going to run. I need to go grab some food. I haven't eaten dinner yet, and it's uh, 9.30 here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they Bye. Oh, you don't need Okay, you can Bye -bye. that. You can just wait. Bye, Christina. I'm hungry, too. Bye. Can I... Go get some pizza. <laughs> sure. um, it, hold on to that thought for a couple of weeks, so we can go grab some barbecue. Oh, so <laughs> that sounds better. I love barbecue. I never get to eat it because no one else in my family eats barbecue besides me. <gasps> What? You're living oh, aliens. What the heck? All right, all right, Danny. We got what three nights of dinner okay, that we will be there, and right. that barbecue oh place is right by there was really good. I love barbecue, so I am so in. Sarah, you're watching the room tonight that night. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh, we grill every Sorry, weekend. Sarah. <laughs> you gotta come to Georgia. You gotta yes, come to Georgia. Ooh, good barbecue, the barbecue in Georgia. I love. Yeah. I freaking love barbecue. All kinds. I went to this smoke master. It was called Barbecue Smoke, uh, something like that. I can't remember the exact thing. But the guy smokes all the meats that you have. You have, like, six courses of different um, meats. It was so delicious. That sounds so good. Yeah, I had really good barbecue in Georgia, and it was this place um, that was in an old garage. But it was so, so yummy. Okay, so, Danny, yeah. how good are you on Mexican food? I, that's probably our favorite. We love routine, Mexican yeah. food. Yeah. Mm. So have you had? Do you know what a tamala is? Uh, <laughs> if I saw the menu, probably yes. Because I don't know. Okay. Well, let me. Let, well, maybe I'd. Per, maybe I'm pronouncing it like the gringos. So yeah. let me pronounce it like the gringos here. It's a tamale. <laughs> oh, I had that two days ago. <laughs> okay, tamales. Okay, I make them homemade. Mmm. Wrap them oh, every, every, really every year. I wow. had that for lunch. It was a tamale ranchero uh, with like tomato sauce over it, sour cream, beans, rice. Uh, delicious. Oh no, tomato <laughs> sauce. No, you gotta have mole. Mole. Well, they had ranchero sauce. Okay, well that's not mole though. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have mole, which you're gonna have a uh, tamales, puerco tamales. You gotta have mole. Is that the yeah. green uh, sauce? No, and that's kind of, it's kind of like a. That's what the chocolate in it, right? It's more of a. Yeah. It looks it, it, yes, it? yes, Sarah's right. It's with the chocolate in it. Chocolate. Is that what we had? Yeah. Yes. Meat yes. Meat too? I, made, I made that sauce one time. Yeah. You know, it's funny. We went eight. What was it? Where was it at? Um, Universal Studios. Universal Studios. Maybe rock and roll somewhere. I don't. No, no. Chocolate Factory or something. Was that chocolate place with the? Coffee? I don't remember the name. Anyways, sorry. they had a great mole. Yeah. It was so delicious. And we like we've never had a flavor like that before ever. And then Sarah made another well, dish good. like that, and that's how we discovered the chocolate was in there and stuff. 
Yeah. Yes. It has chocolate and it also has peanut butter, believe it or not. Mm. Oh, I didn't I didn't know about the peanut butter. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it does yeah. have peanut butter. I would totally love to try it. Well, you know, Christmas is just around the corner. You know, I will send you a box with some freezer packs, and you can mail it to me, and I'll. We can it. we can go to California and visit Mirza when we go to Disney. If we go to Disney. Oh yeah, we'll yeah. Do that, yeah. Trying to get that Disney. Yeah. Yeah. One night, one night I can cook you some carne asada. My favorite. I can cook you. I can cook you some carne asada con I arroz. Love mm. Oh my gosh, she's making me. There you go. Home Barbacoa. I love barbacoa. Oh, yeah. Barbacoa is good. And okay, my so favorite called... tacos are say, steak Cecina tacos. I live in a Hispanic neighborhood, and the store is a taqueria just down the street from me. I love it. I could go there every day. I love You're it all making me hungry. I'm breaking out the m and I love the way the pronunciations of the gringos. Oh, yeah. Cecina <laughs> You should see me. You should see me try to order. I, I'm like uh, a burrito de asada, no lechuga. <laughs> Con avocado. <laughs> you all laugh at me for my English. <laughs> my students all laugh at me because I pronounce the English incorrectly sometimes. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. So it's. So hey, Danny, you know what? I make them once a year during Christmas time. I make uh, boyo, which is uh, the the chicken. Mm, I make boyo, which is the um, pork. I love that. Sounds delicious. Hey, Colleen. Well, <laughs> anytime you guys are down here, you let me know, and we can do carne asada oh, one day. To de relleno. Know. I love these. <laughs> And barbacoa too. That's a kind of like a barbecue, oh, but the Mexican barbecue. I, I love barbacoa. Oh, so good. See barbacoa. <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you say it? It's barbacoa. Bar barbacoa. <laughs> barbacoa. <laughs> Is it the chivo and from uh, the what kind what kind of barbacoa? Uh, goat like brisket. It's a but it, what kind of meat? Is it goat or oh, beef. pork or it's beef? It's beef? Yeah. It's the like original one is goat. Oh. Yeah, so no, it's really good. This this is a beef one. It's almost like a roast, but yes. they and they, and they slow cook it all yes. day and it's oh. just so mm -hmm. delicious. I'm starving, yeah. you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> I got the popcorn and the M&Ms now. <laughs> I'm glad I ate before I got on here. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we, we always have tortillas. Today. We always have tortillas in the refrigerator and salsita. And my husband cannot have a meal. This is no lie without tortillas. Yeah. When we go out to like Mexican restaurants, that we get when they have like their own salsa, we will eat the whole mm -hmm. entire thing. It is so <laughs> delicious. And by the time the food comes, we're like full because we usually have like black bean soup and stuff with it. And then, like we take most of our food home and eat it for another meal later on. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Can't go wrong with Mexican food, Danny. No, it's probably our number one cuisine we eat, to be honest. Yep. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'll have to send you some of my uh, tomales. Absolutely. Okay, I have a question for you guys. So I just owed. I um front panel for my tutor bag with that soft and stable and it's like I don't know if I didn't like pull it taut enough but it's loose. Do you think if I just pull it taut when I put the bag together it'll like these air bubbles go away? Oh. It could be because I, I basted a few panels earlier today and it wasn't uh completely flat but okay. I oh wait hang on Danny's gonna fix something. I need to turn the camera. It's Colleen. What? Mm. Your microphone's Say taking Say hi, Lincoln. Uh oh. Daniel, are you having a problem with your things? I had muted you for a second earlier when you're in a car. You had a loud sound going on. Are you still muted? <laughs> 
No, I was I was in the car. I'm in the house now, and my cat. Okay, good deal. So I'm gonna make sure you didn't have a problem. But um, sorry if I. Oh no, yeah, I'm in the house. Yeah, I had a problem because I was going through the back streets trying to avoid, you know, yeah, yeah. detection. <laughs> <laughs> I did so. call. I'm sorry. It's my civic duty. <laughs> yeah, so I was I was in the back streets and every tree was pecking me. Move, pet. All right, so you can see your answer. Um, about the it was the interfacing the panels you did earlier. There was bubble spacing. Oh, there were like very small bubbles like around the outer edge, and I know those will sew out when I sew the bag together. But if you have like huge ones right in the middle, you might want to redo it. I don't know if you used Wonder Clips to hold it before you basted it or not, but. Daddy didn't feed you. <sighs> I did. I think it was just because I was didn't have a lot of space because I had my I'm using my phone next to my sewing machine. But yeah, this is I what I did it. for my other panel. That I just did to go awesome. get a zipper. Nice. Yeah. But my husband's sleeping and I don't want to wake him up because all my sewing stuff's in our room. <laughs> so <laughs> I stop. I'm kind of at a standstill. Okay, you do you the outside and like hit some garbage cans, make a lot of noise. See, the outside noise wakes them up. And since, like <laughs> since you're awake, uh, let me go in there and do my business. <laughs> yeah, <Daddy>, you're. <laughs> Sarah, will you have your rivet rivet pressed at the retreat? Yeah, I do usually bring it, and I'll have some rivets too. Okay. And, okay. Uh... I have rivets, but um. I didn't want to bring like the whole hammer and everything. So. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll bring my press. Um, okay. What else do I usually bring, Danny? Sewing machines, left. irons. No, I mean like extra stuff. Uh, materials. Yeah, I sometimes bring my uh, Sizzix uh, machine. I think last time I forgot, but you had oh. it, didn't you? I don't know. One time you did. I don't know. Last time I don't there was one time out of the three times that I did not have it. Oh, then that must have been in the June because I did not see a Sizzix. I don't remember the last <laughs> It might have been. <laughs> yeah. I been. absolutely would have remembered well, that. We can always bring one. If anyone wants you know, something, we can always call me and I'll come bring it over. You're so good. <laughs> Danielle, you better feed them cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently I needed to because my husband did not. And I was like, why are they attacking me when I'm coming through the door? <laughs> 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 Yeah, I had I had to get up and go see if I fed mine just to make sure. So. <laughs> okay. They're like, mommy, feed me. I know. Move, dude. Oh my God, what are you doing? I'm walking here. Move. <laughs> this dude just laid down in front of me. Like I'm not walking. Uh, Here's mine right here. Uh, yeah. That's RC. Yeah. That's RC. Say hey, say hey. <laughs> say hey. And then that's right. Hey. No, no, nobody wants to say hey. <laughs> no, wanna say hey. The kitty is, see, here's my puppy. There's a kitty, Lincoln. <laughs> that is I'm, so funny. I just had to feed my dog as well. Like the, all of our animals. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're going to finally get an animal. I told Val for her birthday I'd buy her a bearded dragon. I know it's not a dog or a cat because we have allergies. No. <laughs> no, buy her a Lincoln dog. He's a non-allergy dog. You know, that's like a myth people uh, believe, like, hyperallergenic <coughs> You're more allergic to the, the dog's, like, saliva and, like, secretions through the... It's their actual, like, what? skin. Like, your dog, if you're hyperallergenic, if you look it up, it's not the way you think because they're brown oh. with hair versus fur, fur. It's like the saliva and the actual skin dust yep. is what uh, you're allergic to. I think you're right because Lincoln's yeah. allergic to himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah, can I ask you a question or anyone yeah. else who's looking to help out? Um, so I'm working on my airplane and I have, I'm have i at the step where I could talk you know, okay. the whole thing. Uh, let's see if I can get this. I always have a problem with uh, where to start and stop. Okay. I don't know if you can see. Is it like here where I attach Hold the zipper to? Yeah. Um, can you see that? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. So, it's just like there where I attach the zipper. Here, I will scissors. Okay, sorry, Danny's pinning it so I could see the, the video the whole time. Um, 
Yeah, so where, where you've got it pinned, where it comes off the fabric, that's where you can start sewing. It looks like you sewed it already, though, right? Um, I sewed the zipper, but I haven't actually, like... Sewn the sides? Okay. Um, okay. So, um, do I... How am I positioning the zipper, though? Do I want it face it outwards or inwards like that? Can you see that? Oh, you mean, like, out... Like, uh... Like, I mean, taking the zipper... Okay. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, but my zipper always looks kind of wonky and when I okay. sew it, I don't know if it's because I'm placing it out or in. I anybody? When I recently made it, I've um, marked where I ended the zipper on both sides so that it's even because I found that when I very first started making it, when I wasn't marking it, it was sort of like uh, like cockeyed a little bit on the ends. I don't know if that's what you did. Um, so like. <laughs> Work it like that. Did you sew the second side in already? No. Okay. So wait. Where, what do you mean? So I mean, like after I after I sew the first side in, I mark where I where I ended the zipper, like off the edge of the fabric, so that when I go to sew the second side, I can make sure it ends in the same spot on the zipper, so that when you go to sew the oh, sides, yeah, I, that you did that. I okay. Did do okay. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, I see. Zipper. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And go on the. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. So, but yeah, the uh, just the zipper kind of. I'm wondering if I should push it in or kind of pull it out. I think pull it out is what I usually do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um. On that note, I'm gonna be heading off, ladies. It was a okay, lot of fun on. to chat with you guys. Nikki, you're ending it for everyone. We're all leaving. <laughs> I think it's a fair time to end the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. It was down. fun. Don't oh, worry, we're hungry. gonna do it again next <laughs> month. So. <laughs> Well, I had right. fun with you guys. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a lot fun. of fun. Thanks for joining Bye. us, everyone in the room, and thanks for everybody that was watching live on Facebook nice. and YouTube. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you again next month on the first Friday sew-in. Thanks for joining us and for all the questions. I saw tons of questions coming through, so really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you again next month. Bye, everyone.